Kazakhstan will meet a team from South America for the first time in a World Olympic qualifying tournament, while Peru, on the other hand, has lost four of their five matches against Asian Volleyball Confederation sides. And that is one of the many insights of this exciting matchup here. After the ceasefire, we continue with the action again right here as eight volleyball women's teams are undergoing some really tough trials right here as they compete to earn their ticket to the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Japan on top, Italy following suit also with two wins. Korea now has finally won into that win column. Thailand, after winning their first match, dropped their second. Peru has also won in their last assignment and is hoping that they will win back to back. And as you go down that line, you will notice that you have Kazakhstan at the bottom. But after Peru, it's the Netherlands and the Dominican Republic. Speaking of Kazakhstan, Coach Chapran will have a tough order right here, but we will see who amongst his tough players will be bringing on the heat and will be able to pull out a win. Remember that the side of Kazakhstan, 26th in the world, qualified for the 2008 Beijing Olympics um, and ended up ninth in the Olympics then and was the, um, their only appearance for Peru, Coach Maro Marasculo will be relying on his players who are a good mix of veteran and young players for Peru after their win against the Dominican Republic in straight sets. They now have an opportunity to win two matches at a World Olympic Qualification Tournament for the first time. And this being the first game, we will now set aside time to honor these two wonderful countries where volleyball is celebrated and played. And these heroines on the floor will be fighting for those flags and colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan lost their first two matches against the Netherlands and Japan, and they hope to let their country's colors fly high. Now, Peru. They fight for flag and country. No matter what name at the back of their jersey, what matters most is the honor that they give their country. And here's another chance here at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. We are here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. And as you know, this city has once again come alive with volleyball. The city of Tokyo has previously hosted the Olympic Games in 1964, where volleyball was introduced as an Olympic sport, becoming the first 
first Asian city to do so. And as you know, volleyball here is wonderfully accepted. And speaking of being wonderful, here are our officials for this particular game. And our FIVB referees will be in charge of ensuring that all will go well for this very important match between two squads who meet for the first time in a World Olympic qualification tournament. Kazakhstan will try to claim their first victory at the FIVB Volleyball Women's World Olympic qualification tournament here in Japan, this being their third game. This one against Peru. We introduce the players from Kazakhstan. They will be meeting a team from South America for the first time at a World Olympic Qualification Tournament. As you can see, the starting lineup there for Kazakhstan, number four, Stanova will again start, as well as uh, number nine this time, Lumoskaya. We won't be seeing Akilova right away, and we will also be seeing a number 13, Beresnava, once again. And you'll also have number 18, Akinova, Anikonova on that lineup. Kavturina will be joining the mix right here in uh, sparingly for coach Vacheslav. As we now introduce Team Peru. You have Oribe. Rueda starting, you have Munoz as well there on the starting lineup with Frias, Icheskas, Leva, and Palacios will be starting. So it's a different starting unit here. Usually you would uh, see also on that. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a usual starting lineup right here for Coach Marasiulo for the Peruvian squad after their win against the Dominican Republic in straight sets. I'm sure that they're coming in here with a renewed sense. And of course, keeping their Olympic dreams alive here. They have long been waiting for the return to the Olympics and with a 3-0, 25-22, 25-16, and 26-24 thriller over the Dominican Republic where at the opening set, it played out as if the match looked absolutely even. But you will see that some of the players that you see on the floor for coach Marasiulo, particularly Angela Leva, a 19-year-old who had a wonderful shootout against Dominican Republic's Breyalin Martinez, really paced the squad right here. She had beautiful spikes and blocks that absolutely set the pace, helped win for that team. As we start things off now with our first set, Right down the middle, and it's blocked right away. Good job by Uribe. The 31-year-old middle blocker team captain plays at Club Deportivo Hamsa. Gives another opportunity after they draw first blood here in this game against Kazakhstan. Watch that middle. They send that easy over. Del Corte, team captain right there. Or check that. That was Stanova, by the way. Who goes for that cross court? Soft touch over. Rainbow worked right there. But that went out. Kazakhstan gets their first point off of that error on the side of Peru. Team captain Beresneva on the line for that service. They'll set up. Went straight there for a hard hit. Good job by Rueda. 
the 26-year-old wing spiker scoring the second one for Peru. Now on the line, you have Frias. Beautifully put away right there by Stanova. Kept it simple, they got it straight away, and that's how you want to do it. Textbook play right there by Kazakhstan in that last instance. As we see who will break this tie, denied right there from the right side. They're going to go at it again with Rueda. That ball sailed wide at the back corner. Anikonova earlier for that service. They're going to go on the other side with Leva. We're going to be seeing a lot from Leva. That time, though, put too much heat behind that shot. Four points now for Kazakhstan. Back-to-back -back errors coming from the wing attackers right there. For Peru, let's see how they will recover this time. They go back to Leva. Ball well received. And I can see that Coach Marasiulo is pacing back and forth right here, discussing with his coaching staff how they have allowed this to be a 5-2 to two game. Not pressing on that panic button just yet. He knows that he's got some very smart players. Leva dealing with it. Stanova over the defenders, and that's wide. Carla Rueda on the line, 12th in blocks, three stuffing from that attack on the left side, coming from Tatko. Ball just died there in the middle, great service that we're seeing earlier right there from Tatko. They're going to go to the left wing, good job putting up there by Palau for service. Still a two-point ball game. They'll set this up for Leva once again. Soft touch over, was denied. Double coverage combination of, uh, we have number nine earlier, Lumoskaya, I believe. Tatko on the line for service. Kazakhstan leading here by three. They got to put this in control. Great job by the setter right there. Perfect time coming from Rubskova. And Kazakhstan has handled this quite well, 8-4. to four. But do watch out for Peru. You know that after a timeout, they respond really well to what Coach Marasiulo can do. But first, let's listen in to Coach Vacheslav. They need to get over that mental hurdle and after coming off of this technical timeout, Peru will need to overcome this 8-4 to advantage that Kazakhstan has put up early in this first set. Let's take a look at how the Peruvian squad will respond to what coach Marasiulo has said. Peru have played only one four-set match and have no five-setters in their nine World Olympic qualification matches. Let's see how this will pan out for them as Leva went for that attack. Beautiful cut shot. Let's take a look at how that was set up right around the defenders right there. Over Rubtsova. 
around Rubsova. They set this up. Easy dink over. Beautifully put away by Frias. And what a response we're seeing right here from Peru. Off of that technical timeout, they're able to recover little by little. Still trailing by two. Let's see if they will find the consistency that is required in this kind of game against a dangerous squad like Kazakhstan. But look at that ace. Over there, couldn't get to that ball soon enough to try to save that for Peru. Well played by Kazakhstan. Beres Neva there in the midst of all the action, making way from for Rubstova, their middle blocker for the service. They'll go to the other side, and they're really quickly, they're finding the right combinations now as Peru only trailing by one after this shot. Carefully executed by Icheskas. Icheska, sixth amongst blockers here. She tries to show. She couldn't get to that position right away to try to block. This particular shot right there, and it's through the two defenders on the floor of Peru, Beres Neva. Giving Kazakhstan a two-point lift over Peru. The battle there near the net. Denied, and that's through, and that's a stuffed block right there in the face of Peru and Stanova and the rest of them. Reading Frias quite well. Credit Anikonova for that stuff block. Kazakhstan still leading the charge and ball still live. They will think it over, Kero Frias. They'll set this up, going for the kill. Good blockers coming from Peru. Through the defenders this time, they'll set this up. Frias on the move, wonderfully put away. Palacios to Frias, getting enough angle behind that. <laughs> Munoz with that service. Good job stretched out by Frias right there to try to save that. Wow, a lot of heat. Stanova sizzling with that shot earlier. Kazakhstan still on the driver's seat. Hasn't given that up. It's 12 to 9. Beresneva with that service. A shot over there by Peru. Wow. Once again, Stanova went to work. Here's the reverse for Stanova. And one coverage right there, great angle off of that, will force Peru to call a timeout. And remember, they did so well coming from the earlier technical timeout. Let's see how they'll adjust. The team from Peru really has to be able to put in the work right here. Peru. Trailing now 13 to 9. This squad from Kazakhstan absolutely hungry to log their first win here at our WOQT happening here in Tokyo. Beresneva earlier with that service. From behind, back row attack. Well received. This time, 
that beautiful shot coming from the left wing right there with a touch off of the blocker scores a new for Kazakhstan. Care of Tatko worked really hard to, to make it happen. Beresneva again. Back row attack, a lot of heavy, a lot of weight behind that attack. Good execution. Good execution there coming from Leva. Leva actually climbed to third best scorer now with 34 points coming into this battle actually and look at that block by Rueda. Not letting anything through, stuffing it down for the point. Peru within three. At the service line, Frias. Ball still live. Leva will go at it straight to their Libero Captorina. And slowly, Leva and the rest of them methodically with beautiful shots like that, trying to cut down Kazakhstan's lead. And so Coach Vacheslav wanting to protect this lead will talk things through. Coach Marasculo and his squad from Peru will have to deal with the nine attack points of Kazakhstan. Four of them coming from Stanova, three coming from the team captain Beres Neva, and then you have Tatko also contributing two attack points. They also have two blocks right here on the other side for number eight. Frias has registered two attacks of the seven that uh, Peru enjoys so far. Good job by the Lerbero to try to put a handle on that. Blockers from Peru making it quite difficult. Here's the reverse, and she dinks it over. Change of pace right there. Here's the attack, and it's well read. Stanova denied by Leva. She was all over that for another point registered by Leva. Now just a one-point game. Some indecision on the part there of Peru, not being able to read where that ball was going to drop. Last second decision there to try to hit that ball. Caught all fish right there off the net. And number 18, Anikonova. Their outside hitter, 25-year-old, with that wonderful service, Leva, once again puts it down all the way to the back, making it another one-point battle. Rueda for service. Watch out for those blockers. But there was a touch, and that's going to be a second technical timeout right now. Kazakhstan once again leading the charge, um, leaving the squad from Peru. Still wondering uh, what had transpired, but Kazakhstan straight to business right here with uh, Coach Vacheslav calling on his squad. Kazakhstan 
Kazakhstan has actually earned four of their 16 points from their opponents' errors, two uh, blocks and at least nine attacks thus far to make it a 16 to 14 game. After that technical timeout, we see Stanova on the line for service. In an attempt to stretch this lead anew, like what they did in the early onset of this game against Peru. Peru will reverse this. That was red, but that ball went out, could not control that attack coming from Icheskas. Icheskas, dangerous attacker, great blocker as well. They reverse that, that's on the line. Let's take a look at how they put this point away. Rubsova absolutely thrilled to be seeing that go to the back corner. Tatko with that service. That reverse this block. They have to put this up and it's over. That joust won by once again, Rubsova. She is efficient particularly in this last few plays. Kazakhstan looking so focused here in this stretch. Leva. Leva changed the pace right there. Well done. Seeing that, uh, that there was an open spot. Took a gander because Kavtorina uh, is a uh, great libero, but great decision coming from Peru right there to try to cut down this lead and come within two. Frias! Oh, they managed to put this over, but that's on the line. Wow! After that mad scramble to receive that strong attack coming from Peru. Let's take a look at how that happened. It went through the defenders. You saw some contact right there. And that went all the way to the back. Nothing that uh, Palacios could do to chase that down. From the back, able to control that reception. Leva puts it up. They're going to go to Frias through the defenders. Whoa. It's still smoking after that attack. Triple coverage all the way through. And that must be a huge confidence booster right here from Peru, who's just within two. They reverse that. Anikonova, the 25-year-old player from Altai, making her first appearance for the national squad. Free is from the left, covered by the defenders. Anikonova, could it be? Making a good account of herself. Let's take a look at what happened there. Great job by the defenders, Stanova and Anikonova, as we call for a timeout by Peru, Kazakhstan, needing only four to earn this first set. It's a four-point gap, Kazakhstan, on the upper end of that. Let's see what uh, Oribe, team captain, will be able to uh, help her squad do at this juncture. Rueda certainly has been busy here. Let's see how they'll respond, Kazakhstan, with the service. Back row attack, pancake up. Oh, but they're going to be awarding this with a fault on the side of Peru. There you go.
knowing that Anikonova is there and she's been tough to handle. Great job by Peru recognizing that they got to put the angle. Great thinking by Munoz. Couldn't put the handle that time, and Kazakhstan scores a new two away from putting the set and logging it as a one set for them. Great job by Stanova. Beresneva. Leva. Leva put a lot of spin on that. They'll set this up again from behind. Too much. But there was a touch, and so they will get this point. That shot was just too much for Kazakhstan to handle. Logging in Peru's 19th, keeping it alive, keeping Kazakhstan at bay. Playing catch up now. We have Peru blocking that shot coming from Zdanova. Stanova soft this time. That worked. That worked. Set point for Kazakhstan. It's just a great touchdown right there. As we have Anikonova who will try to end this first set. Here's Peru. Pressure packed. Play right here, Liv. Leva will go at it. Defense must work wonderfully. Leva, though, sends that out. And that is the end of this first match. Kazakhstan putting this away via 25 to 19 victory here in set number one. A lot of exciting highlights to review here in this first set. But really, it's a great start to. Uh, uh, um, to the part of Kazakhstan with coach uh, Vacheslav hoping that they'll finally break into that win column and this is an opportunity for them to get back to the Olympic Games something that they have not done since 2008 their one and only appearance Kazakhstan hoping that they are able to recover from their losses in the hands of the Netherlands, three sets to one, and Japan, which they lost in straight sets. As we take a look at the point statistics in set number one, they are even in attacks, but those errors from Peru is something that they will definitely need to put a handle on. Blocks from Kazakhstan, a couple of stuff blocks right there. Um, uh, the digs, though, Peru uh, has four over Kazakhstan for that one one but Kazakhstan did enough to build up a very wonderfully played second set ready with more confidence in set number two just shortly they are hoping that they will qualify in the Olympics where Brazil China Serbia Russia Argentina the USA and Cameroon is already uh, waiting for they are looking for a few more opponents for will be coming here Kazakhstan Stan was able to uh, get through uh, from uh, the 2008 World Olympic Qualifying Tournament as the best Asian team. You know, Peru, on the other hand, has had a tough squad or a tough time against AVC sides. They have lost four of their last five Olympic qualification matches against AVC sides, all in straight sets, including the last three. Their only win 
came against Chinese Taipei in 2012, and that's been some time here since they won against an AVC side again since 2012. Let's see how Peru can put a handle against Kazakhstan. Of course, Kazakhstan also on their side will be meeting a South American team for the first time at a World Olympic Qualification Tournament. And we are just about ready for set number two. You're taking a look at Rueda. Anikonova made a good account of herself in that opening set. Watch out for Stanova, who had six attack points in that first set. But it's Neva with three, Tatko with two. And over on the side of Peru, registering six attack points was Angela Leva. You also have Frias with three attack points and two for Icheskas. First to serve, Lumoskaya. Good coverage right there. They got to put a handle on this ball. Easy over opportunity here for Peru to draw first blood. They go to the left wing. Good up right there by the team captain from Kazakhstan. That ball is going to go on the side of Rueda. Putting the heat there, taking it all the way to the back, scoring the first here in the second set. Peru with Uribe on the line. Soft over, well covered. What a heater right there, coming from Leva. And referee Croft of Germany will be speaking to the team captain. And they continue to play. Thanks to our wonderful officials from the FIVB for ensuring that all will be well in this important match. Peru looking for their third straight point here after losing that first set. In position, they go for a quick right there. And Peru scores three straight, has denied Kazakhstan opportunities to score here in the second set. And Ikonova right there changes the pace, dumps it over. They send that for an Free ball opportunity for Kazakhstan. Down the middle. Ball still alive. It's good. They bump that over to the other side. Here's the set from the right wing. Still a beautiful rally that we're seeing right here. So exciting. But that ends with a point for Peru. Four to nothing. Why not a timeout? by Kazakhstan. They have been denied in the instances here in the second set from scoring. Let's see what coach Vacheslav will be doing. As you take a look at that replay once again, great saves coming there from the different passionate players from Peru. Coach Vacheslav, first coach the team from 2001 to 2006, and was just recently brought back in to try to steer this uh, Kazakhstan squad to victory. And what a great timeout that he called right there. Finally scoring their first point off of that attack from Stanova. And it's a relief when you break into that 
when you break into the scoring right there, you get over a mental hurdle. And let's see how Peru now will respond. Great blocks right there coming from Kazakhstan. And Kazakhstan will score back to back right here. They reverse it for number 18, Anikonova, registering her second successful attack. Block once again, stuffing it right back through. And Nikonova giving this squad from Kazakhstan the lift that they definitely needed. Scoring off a spike, off a block, back to back. Kazakhstan just within one, quickly sending that over. Ball still live. They'll control this for that beautifully executed, wonderful spin off of that shot coming from the team captain, Beresneva. Teams on a roll. Kazakhstan. Four straight for them. <laughs> Having Peru call for a quick timeout is absolutely necessary. Kazakhstan was denied in the first few instances. And now they are up 5-4. A Nikonova with two attack points right here and also a couple of uh, block points. She's absolutely been crucial in this stretch service still for Kazakhstan. You saw earlier the team captain putting it up. She's also been a force to reckon with, but add to the mix, Stanova. Nice reverse for Stanova right there through the defense of Echeskas. Kazakhstan getting a lot of successes in this stretch. But that now side out for Peru. Finally, they stop the bleeding. And let's see now how they'll get back into the rhythm that they had at the start of this game where they had denied Kazakhstan from scoring and had a 4-0 start. Beautifully handled there by Rueda. Good job by the Liberos. Fendrikova couldn't put a handle on that the second time around. We're tied at six. Coaches working those sidelines quite hard. Twenty-six-year-old Rueda with that service. They'll reverse this. Leva earlier. Oh, quick! Good job by Echeskas. Peru now ahead. Too much heat behind that as we are again at seven apiece. Side of Kazakhstan. 
We'll have Rupsova, the middle blocker, on that floor. She'll have to work hard. That ball was over the defenders earlier, but she's going to go at it with the reverse this time, though. They first go to the option of Icheskas. Icheskas blocking right there, the attack attempt by Tatko. And this is the first technical timeout with Peru getting there first. Great job. Well read. That attack by Tatko blocked by Icheskas. And with a dagger look to end that confidence is back on the Peruvian side. The fans absolutely enjoying what they're seeing here. Japan hasn't just embraced. They continue to celebrate volleyball in this country. And it's it's a wonderful sight to see. And all throughout this day, this is game. Uh, this is uh, day three of official action coming from uh, a break. And uh, you will see as this day progresses, this is the first of four matches that we're seeing here. More and more fans will be filling those seats here at this wonderful gymnasium. As we continue the action coming from that technical timeout. You have Tatko going for that kill. No touch. That ball sailed wide off of that attack. The cross-court attempt by Tatko. Peru now up ahead by four. And they, or rather by two. Nine to seven. She put it away with authority. Stanova Probably her ninth attack point already. As we take a look at that from the top angle, well played all the way to where the weather was. Here's Tatko. Blockers deflect that ball. Still in play. That ball will go for Peru to bring them to a Two-point advantage breaking into twin digits now. <laughs> Peru lost to Japan in straight sets. One in straight sets against the Dominican Republic. Let's see what they can eke out in this match against an AVC side. Something that they haven't been quite successful in doing. But that's a fault there on the side of Peru. Kazakhstan now comes within one. Tatko with the service. Blockers doing work. Let's see how that transpired right there. Well, the blockers did enough, uh, but they also had a bit of help from that net over there. But they'll take the points where they'll get it. Those blockers really making it tough for Peru and Kazakhstan now up ahead. Let's take a look at that single coverage and that brilliant play coming from the middle blocker, Rubtsova. And the veteran who's played for the national team 30 different games prior to coming to Tokyo hasn't been to the World Championships or the Olympics just yet. But that kind of talent may do just that as Kazakhstan now lets this one slip away with this attack coming from Frias. And that's through the fingertips, shredding the defense, making it an 11 all battle. That ball was wide. 
Well called by our officials. Alexandra Munoz with that service earlier. They send that over. Great service. Munoz, reverse set right there, beautifully put away by Uribe. And the team captain shows us how it's done. And Kazakhstan calling for a timeout as they're letting it slip away. They had that lead for some time. Let's see how they'll adjust. Let's talk about Kazakhstan. So far in this game, they've had 18 attack points, seven blocks. And that has been the story. And they've also scored 11 off of their opponent's errors. But they still trail Peru with a 13 to 11 advantage here. Munoz's service received. They set up the team captain. Good up from Palacios. Is he think over? They try to give him a dose of their own medicine. Great play coming from Berezneva. Let's take a look at how she did it. Defenders did not expect that one. Munoz couldn't put a handle on that. And so we have here Kazakhstan in an attempt to equalize. They deal with those attacks quite well, coming from free as those blockers. They are on fire on that net. Credit Perez Neva. And Team Shapran Vacheslav. Still keeping his squad on their toes. It's been tough, too, to break away from Peru. Beautiful approach with a finish by the weather off of that kill. Frias earlier with that service. Munoz. Beautifully done. Absolutely great cut shot coming from Leiba, who I mentioned climbed to third best scorer. Now, coming into this game, had 34 total points. 32 from spikes, two from block. She's the 13th among best spikers with a 35.16 success rate percentage. And Peru now with a twin-digit lead scrambled right there. Miscommunication between the two front liners. As Kazakhstan able to register another point right here. It's a much closer game as compared to that first set. That ball was out. Leva took it easy that time. And we are tied at 15. Next point will send us to another technical timeout. Who will lead? Leva again. And Leva will be sending this to the second technical timeout. Great dime right there by Munoz through the defenders. Nothing that Anikonova could do that time around with that wonderfully executed shot coming from Peru. Mm -hmm. 
как будто вот 0-0, а? Еще раз говорю, вот сейчас надо прибавить. Середина партии. The scoring has been back and forth here. Peru would have the advantage and Kazakhstan would, would have some sort of momentum going. Then the momentum continues to shift back and forth between these two courts right here. But with Peru having a technical timeout, I'm sure they're not going to take it easy. It's been absolutely tough to deal with Kazakhstan, particularly Stanova, who still is the top scorer right there. But Peru's been getting a lot of boost coming from Angela Leva, who has, before this technical timeout, registered 10 um, uh, attacks. Uribe earlier with that service. They're going to go to their team captain, denied right there, stuffed right back by Peru, who now stretches this lead again. They try to once again build on the momentum, and it's now again another point by Leva, this time a block point. They evade Leva this time and through the defenders that had, that saw Ichescas trying to chase down that attack. And that was Stanova, care of Stanova, who puts Kazakhstan in position to tie this game. Error on the side. And that of the side of Kazakhstan, and that will now extend Peru's lead to two, and they'll take that. Referee Kraft and referee Liu hard at work today. Well run battle. From the right they go. Great decision making by the young Anikonova. Much is expected from this 25 year old who's playing for the national team for the first time. This outside hitter has showing us that she deserves a spot in the squad put together by coach Yacheslav. That time though Peru had their number. Anikonova splattered on that floor, couldn't get to the spot immediately. And Peru, once again, has an opportunity off of this Leva serve. Tatko, or check that, that was the Nova. Yeah, Katerina Stanova earlier registering that. She plays for a Karaganda club. And let's see how this now works out. And it works absolutely well for the kill. Beautiful setup job there by Munoz. Way to put it away. That's number eight. They're opposite spiker. Frias doing work on that left side and service ace there. Icheskas. <laughs> Peru has, I believe, three points off of serves. So far in this game, they'll set up Tatko, and that will go wide and it's score for Kazakhstan to come within two. But Peru still in the lead position that was off Rueda. She swiped it off Rueda earlier. Oh, beautiful angle there with authority. Frias. Look at that coming from that back row, running to position on the right side of the defense. Finished with a great angle with Peru now only three away from putting the second set. Again, to their advantage. Here's the setup for the team captain, and that'll be a point for Kazakhstan, delaying 
what could be Peru's second set win. Kazakhstan doing enough right here. It's a thriller that we're seeing here. Beresneva leading the charge for Kazakhstan. Two-point battle. Great, exciting stretch that we're seeing right here. And oh, wow. Rueda leaving a trail of smoke with that heat. Right through the seams. Beres never denied. But that will be a point for Kazakhstan. Beres Neva able to score that off of that attack. There's a touch there earlier, and so Kazakhstan only needing two more to tie. Momentum on their side as the blockers do work once again. And Nikonova just all over this floor. And there's going to be a timeout before we see Lumoskaya with that service. But what a great exchange that we're seeing here in the final moments of this second set. Peru has had 28 attack points, six blocks so far, two service points, and has scored six off of their opponent errors to come to this juncture. Still in the lead, but only by a hairline, 23 to 22. Will they be able to build? against the attacks of Kazakhstan, which has been quite successful as of late. The blockers this time not being able to do the work they needed. And now Peru needing one more to get this set, thanks to the heroics of number 12, Angela Leva. Uribe for service. Peru needing one more. Ball still alive. They have to send that over. Munoz sets it up for a quick and return on one. Beautifully handled by Angela Leva. And this is another set victory for Peru, getting the two straight sets. Kazakhstan, rather, getting that initial set and Peru responding through all the excitement that Peru has done right here. It's as if they had the confidence of uh, owning that initial set, but they do own the second set and they make a wonderful comeback here. What a great battle that we're seeing right here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. And let's see how Coach Vacheslav will now respond after giving up that second set to Peru. 25 to 19 was that score in that first set. 22 to 25 in favor of Peru the second time around. After Peru's win against the Dominican Republic in straight sets, 
Peru is now looking to win two matches, but let's see how they did it in that second set and how Kazakhstan also fared one set apiece. Attacks was, is 17 in favor of Peru over the 12 of Kazakhstan. Peru scoring five off of the errors, four for Kazakhstan in that stat department. Five blocks scores right there are points for Kazakhstan. Registered 11 digs, 14 for Peru so far in this match. Kazakhstan lost their first two matches. The first one against the Netherlands, 3-1, to one, and then Japan losing that in straight sets. And they also lost their first two matches in their previous participation back in 2008. Talking about Kazakhstan, they lost to Serbia and then to Poland. Those teams proved too strong, but still, Kazakhstan lost their first five matches in 2008, but still qualified for the 2008 Olympic Games as the best Asian side. Here in this tournament, we have Japan, Korea, Thailand, and Kazakhstan from the Asian side. Then you have the Netherlands, Italy, Peru, and the Dominican Republic also hoping to qualify as one of the top three. Watch out for Leva. She's been absolutely brilliant in this game, and she will continue to lead this charge. But also on the side of Kazakhstan, you've had Zdanova leading with... 11 attack points so far, and Beresneva with seven attack points registered. Angela Leva with 13 on the side of Peru, and seven for Frias. As we take a look at Peru waiting for service. A set victory for each of these wonderful squads that are fighting tooth and nail for a position at the 2016 Rio Olympics and First score coming from the side of Kazakhstan, care of Beresneva. Side out for Kazakhstan. Here's the service from Beresneva, just too wide there. Chalk up another one for Peru in the opponent's error statistics. Frias with the service. Kazakhstan Statko denied right there by Rueda. Let's see how Tatko tried to go through, but Rueda denies that. Magilaura Frias, the 18-year-old. They put that up now for Leva. Blocked. Here's the set. Rueda off of the blockers. Ball still live. The reverse worked well with the finish for Anikonova. Anikonova now with four attack points under her belt, and she's on the line for service. Leva over the defenders, Tatko putting that up, and she gets it right back. The combination of Rueda and Oribe really been tough right there in front. Leva, send that over. They'll set this up for Leva again. Blocked! Stuffing it right back. Rubtsova was all over that. And the top scoring, Leva, will be denied. Antonina Rubtsova starting it off well here in this third set. Rueda earlier. Tatko sends it over. They'll set up Leva again, this time enough angle off of that. She knew that Robsova had her number, and so she went around that defense. Smart player that you have right there in Leva. Yeah, 
14 spikes to Leva. We're tied at three apiece. And breaking the ice right there for Kazakhstan's fourth point was an error on the side of Peru with that service. Stanova looking to play in her first Olympic Games. Only two players on the side of Kazakhstan have uh, participated in world championships. And their team captain right there doing her best to try to chase that ball. We're tied at four. Rueda. Oh, service ace. Third time around for Peru to score off of a serve. Here in this match, this is set number three. If you guys are just catching us now, down the middle, and Ibotova earlier, Leva off of this attack. Oh, wow. That type of attack leaves you shaking to your core with authority right there, sending Peru with the 6-4 to four lead. Rueda again, an opportunity to continue on to this run. They reverse it. Joust won there by number 14, Rubsova. Coach Marasiulo earlier with some instructions to Leva and the rest of them. Oh no, no coverage, no support there. One defender left all alone in front and Kazakhstan makes him pay. We're tied at six apiece. One set for each side. Ball will be sent over. Beresneva blocked, but that ball went out, and Kazakhstan will score new. Leva couldn't put a handle on that. Very strong attack coming from Beresneva. Seven serving six earlier. Leva this time. Way over the defender for that soft touch. Off-speed shot work for Peru. Just to give you an idea, Anikonova stands at 183 centimeters, and she had to stretch that. But that time, there was nothing that they can do as Kazakhstan will troop back to a huddle with the first technical timeout, leading 8-7 to seven over Peru. Peru had a good run and then Kazakhstan responded with their own also scoring three straight and it's been the seesaw battle that we're seeing right here Kazakhstan coach Vacheslav will have to try to continue to build momentum and get another win, just like they did in set number one. They won 25 to 19, set number one. Peru then, on the other hand, won set number two, 25 to 22. And we're at this juncture. The score is eight to seven. Peru leading in attack points. Let's see how Kazakhstan can put a handle on that. That ball was touched right there by the front line. And so, Frias will score another one off of the block of Anikonova. I mentioned how tall she is, 183 centimeters. 
When it comes to blocking, she can reach up to 285 centimeters. Oh! Beautifully played by Kazakhstan that instance. Uribe just didn't have enough support. Again, Beresneva using her experience to the hilt to put Kazakhstan up nine to eight. From the back, a lot of power, enough power there off of that attack. Beautiful approach. They didn't know what was coming, and she scores and swipes it off of Anikonova. Alexandra Munoz. Fourth best setter, averages 7.5 per set throughout this tournament. Fria sends it wide. Score will belong to Kazakhstan. Beresneva played for Kazakhstan in the 2014 FIVB Volleyball Women's World Championships where they finished 15th. Oh, wow! <laughs> A two-point lead. Beres never will get to go back to the line. As referee Croft signals for the service. Oh, Rueda could not penetrate. That tough wall built by Arnikonova. Cristina Anikonova, she made her debut in international competition in Perdone, Italy. She made her club debut in Kazakhstan's uh, Shivskis team as we take a look at Peru this time. Side out. Peru just keeps clawing their way back. You really love what this team is made of. Earlier, Frias with that service. Good up by there, Libero. Here's the set. They go to Tatko. Good job there by Palacios. Right down the middle. And it was Anikonova who had and was all over that volleyball. This 25-year-old six-footer absolutely is a joy to watch. As she puts up another strong wall this time, though. That is broken through with this attack coming from Rueda. Rueda on the other side plays for a... Peruvian volleyball club has played for seven different volleyball clubs in six different countries. Tatko, yes. Katerina Tatko with this attack. She played for Kazakhstan in the 2015 FIVB Volleyball World Grand Prix where they finished 26. She's 23 years old. Leva with a shot and a lot of spin behind that, winning this for Peru. Still trailing though. She's trying to lift up her squad to another victory. Could they be taking this set? They still got to do a lot of work. Nearing the midway of set number three. This time, Leva couldn't put a strong enough stance against number 14, Rubstova. Here's Tatko with his service. Could dig right there. 
Leva all the way through this time. She rips through that defense and there was nothing that that back line can do to put it back up. Fabulous point there coming from Leva from the strong side. Oh, Frias. This Peruvian side is hot at the moment. Leva, Frias, all of them doing a lot of damage. They go to their team captain. Oh, that was out though. That was out. That's a miss hit on the part of Beres Neva. And we are tied at 15 apiece. Leva goes to the line. Beres Neva this time made sure that she recognized the spot, hit it right where she wanted it for that cross court for our technical timeout. Let's see how that happened with Beres Neva scoring side out going in for Kazakhstan going into our technical timeout. A one point advantage for Kazakhstan in that last play and beautifully done by the team captain. Let's see if they will get the win back on their side. Coach Vacheslav still talking to his squad. Peru had a nice run, scoring three straight against Kazakhstan earlier, but Kazakhstan able to send us to our first technical, our second technical timeout here in this third set. Care of that point from Beres Neva. Beres Neva now has 11 to her name on the line. You had Rubtsova earlier with that service. But there is going to be uh, a mistake here and an error on the floor. Referee Croft and referees Liu in charge of this battle, and we recognize how well they've been running this game. Let's see how now this will transpire. Frias with that attack, denied. Ball still live, though. Frias will take a gander, off-speed shot. They'll set this up for Beres Neva through the defenders. Good dig right there. Frias once again. Nobody there to cover the defense. Stuffed it right back. Score for Arnikonova. And as far as block points is concerned for Akinokova, that I believe is her six, but look at that down the line, that kill from Peru. Coming from Leva, great fake right there. On the side of Peru, cameras try to even chase it down. Great play. Reverse, and that's wide. And again, you see Peru racking up points one after the other. We're tied at 17th. Ah, oh, this is gonna be another thriller. Wow, Tatko. Tatko elated with her last point registered there. She plays for Club Sechu, this 23-year-old outside hitter. Has been doing wonderfully for this squad. Good up right there by Kazakhstan. They send that over. Tatko getting ready. Off speed shot, pancake. 
Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Yes. That's a tough one with a touch on the net. Frias lost her balance. Komskaya. Oh, good dig right there. Well received. Unfortunately, there's going to be an opportunity here for Peru. Fortunately for them, they have an opportunity to tie it again. And they've been really been good at building momentum and racking up straight points. She dumps it over. And you know, Beres Neva has absolutely the wit, the right frame of mind. She knows the game plan. And she puts this team to a 20 to 18 advantage. Quickly putting it away, not wasting any time. Side out for Peru. Here's how that happened. The reverse and the beautiful attack from Uribe. On the line, you have Frias. She won eight points in that battle against the Dominican Republic. That score is going to go for Kazakhstan, inching their way closer towards the end of this third set. Nikonova earlier for that service. Leva stopped right back by the defense of Kazakhstan, playing like a well-oiled machine. Let's take a look at how they responded to the powerful hit by Leva and the twin towers there on the side of Kazakhstan did not let anything through, pushing Peru to call for a quick timeout as they try to deal with this three-point disadvantage. Kazakhstan has enjoyed plays coming from Tatko, Anikonova, and Beresneva, and so many of them just contributing and working together. Stanova also has been doing really well for Coach Chapran. That time, they'll need an easy over opportunity here. Peru with Leva through the defense. Scoring anew for Peru. Love the energy of Peru right now. As Rueda will make way for Regalado. Here comes the heater. Quick play, quick point, quick thinking by Leva right there. Scoring a new off of this block. Single coverage, absolutely handled that attack by Rubtsova. And Kazakhstan will be calling for a timeout as Peru comes to within one. And they did also come from behind, if you remember that correctly there in set number two. Kazakhstan has 37 attack points so far in this game. They still set the pace 22 to 21. They have 14 blocks and has enjoyed 18 points so far in this game. This is the third set already. 
18 opponent errors for the stat of Kazakhstan as we continue play and last second they decide to play that and that ball could have actually sailed out but we don't know good call still by Beres Neva that actually would have gone in but uh, miscalculation on the part of the defense score a new right here here comes another heater here for Peru Regalado to break the ice. Oh, wow, Ichescas. Six and blocks coming into this game amongst all the players here in this WOQT. She scored four stuff blocks as Kazakhstan calls for a timeout. Peru inching their way closer and they're on the driver's seat. How exciting this last stretch has been. This is a great battle between these two squads as we listen in. Peru doesn't do particularly well against Asian Volleyball Confederation sides. They've lost four of their five matches right now after winning set number two with a score of 25 to 22 after Kazakhstan won 25 to 19 in first set. They might be getting uh, another victory set here. 18-year-old Regalado on that line. She's been doing particularly well with those services and look at them scramble to try to return that ball. Leva! Too much angle. And we're tied at 23. Stanova for service here. Kazakhstan has yet to score off of serves. Leva. Good dig earlier there by Torina, or rather, Pendrikova. Yes, they send it over. They managed to do that. Palacios earlier. Leva once again. Oh, no. And that will be set point here for Peru. Kazakhstan, unfortunately, not being able to recover. Great job by Leva, credit her. She was trying to do that earlier this time. She puts it down. Peru, set point. Will this be two straight set victories for Peru? Taco block, yeah! Peru getting set, number three. With a score of 25 to 23, Peru puts this one away, 22 to 25, and set number two that Peru won, and then they do it again here. How will Kazakhstan now bring back the energy, bring back the confidence, bring everything back, the formula that they had when they enjoyed that first set, 25 to 19 victory over Peru? Coach Vacheslav looking absolutely pensive here, but it's been uh, a tough, tough battle against Peru. They are tough customers. They haven't been able to uh, get off or lose the confidence that they started to build up, and it's been a joy to watch this squad led by Rueda, Oribe, Icheskas, and so many of them. Peru needing one more set victory here to put away the team from Kazakhstan. As we take a look at our point statistics, Peru owning two sets, the last two against Kazakhstan. They own two service aces here and that both uh, 
uh, really gave a lift to Peru in the latter part of that second set. 16 attack points versus Kazakhstan's 12. They scored, talking about Peru, six uh, off of the errors of the opponents. They also have four block shots, though Kazakhstan has the advantage in that department. Peru getting down and dirty, 13 digs as opposed to a lower stat there coming from Kazakhstan. For Peru, you have seen uh, Mirta Uribe throughout this game with four attack points. Rueda with five attack points so far. Let's first talk about Kazakhstan's Danova with 12 points. You look at Tatko. She's got four attack points to her name. She's looking pensive. She knows that she is um, uh, absolutely necessary in this battle. All of them are vital cogs, particularly the likes of Stanova and Tatko. Beres Neva, the team captain, with 13 attack points to his name. And Anikonova also with five attack points. In terms of blocking, this squad of Coach Chapran, um, uh, Vacheslav, has had Anikonova scoring six for her blocks, three from Rutsova off of the blocks department, and Stanova with three as well. Great work by uh, um, uh, their libero, Fendrikova, and... Uh, of course, Kavtero uh, will be the other libero as well that they'll need to uh, rely on. For Peru, we've seen one attack point, or rather block point from Oribe. Um, Icheskas registering two and three from Leva. For Carla Rueda, she scored two off of blocks. And in terms of attack, Rueda has had Five, you're taking a look at number 11, Icheskas. Angela Leva has scored 23 attacks already in this game so far. And for Angela Leva, she's really just continuing on. The 32 spikes and 34 points that she scored going into this game. Welcome. This is set number four. First set belonged to Kazakhstan. Then the next two, Peru had. Let's see how this will pan out. Will Kazakhstan extend this and force this to a decisive set? Number five, and they started off with a strong message coming from Akinikova. Anikonova there scoring a quick one for Kazakhstan. Munoz sets this up, rips through the defense, Leva. But as she ripped through the defense, there was a touch and an error on the part, giving Kazakhstan another opportunity here on the line for that service, the Moskaya earlier. This time they'll try to do it right, but can't with three straight points. One error after another on the part of Peru. You see coach Mauro Marasiulo. Getting his machine running here. Coach Marasiulo is trying to make an impact in his first full year as coach has guided this team to victories and many other teams that he's led before as you see that attack right there they scramble and they'll just do that scramble as kazakhstan now logs their fourth straight point denying peru so far here in this fourth set where kazakhstan is in a must win situation Leva, finally. Leva scoring this one. Let's see how she done it. Leva from that strong side. Icheskas. Looking really strong here. And a lot of confidence coming from team captain Beres Neva. They lead five to one. <laughs> T 
team captain sends it over. They set this up for a back row hit. Easy over there. They'll reset for a quick. And that's down and through. Stucks it down. A chest gust. And you can see now the adjustment on the side of Peru. And when they have Echescas and Leva there in front, a lot of great things happen. That time, though, with great expectation on the part of Peru, Schenberger made that not matter in that instance as she went through that defense of Echescas. Mind you, Echescas is sixth coming into this game in this competition so far in terms of blocks. That booms and that's sent over off of that dig. Wow, Echescas. Let's take a look at that beauty again. Their setter really has nice hands as well, and that's also working wonders for Peru. Let's see this reverse for Tatko. Good up by Rueda. They set this from the back row. Oh, miscommunication there. Anarbaeva on that floor, colliding with Stanova earlier. Leva, we're too wild off of that shot. This extends Kazakhstan's lead. They're off to an absolutely brilliant start here. And when their backs are against the wall, you know that Kazakhstan will respond. Though that was well read, you have their number eight, Frias scoring off of the block, swiping it from her defenders. Echescas on the line. They set this up. But that's going to be still a matter of adjustment on the part of Schenberger. As Peru now just comes to within one. They've responded really well to this challenge that Kazakhstan has put up a whiff right there. Oh, wow. Look at this side of Peru, able to tie this game at seven apiece. Next point will send us to our first technical timeout in set number four. Peru has managed to play catch up, and they've got Echescas on the line for service. Dumps it over on two. Oh, well played. And that's the first technical timeout right here with Lukomskaya earlier, finishing it off with that touch down and Kazakhstan with a point advantage. You can see how Peru has scored three straight before Kazakhstan was able to get back the lead after Peru had tied it at seven apiece, broke the ice. Kazakhstan is ranked 26th in the world. You know that they have a very rich volleyball tradition. They are part of the Soviet Union back then, and they've won multiple championships. But this new national side, which debuted in the 1993 Asian Championships, they ranked fifth in that competition. They have won a silver in 2003 Asian Championships and 2012 Asian Cup, a bronze in that tournament. Let's see if Kazakhstan can continue and build a momentum here, not with that error coming from Anarbayeva. 
the 32-year-old veteran, will give now an award Peru their eighth point. Opportunity for Munoz, the fourth best setter in this tournament. Nothing there for the team captain. She'll go again, this time off speed. And they dump it right through. Three straight touches right there, returning the ball. Will there be a challenge? There is a first that we're seeing here. In this game, and Peru will be calling for this challenge. As you know, as far as challenges are concerned, this is an important uh, system using new technology this time to assist the referees in making uh, this decision and in the process of deciding. So to make sure that the game is absolutely fair to the athletes' actions. And this challenge by Peru, as they are being reviewed, is watched closely by Frias earlier. No touch. The challenge, is not successful. challenge isn't successful. And so Kazakhstan will keep this, sending uh, Narbayeva on the line. Watch out. Miscalculated footing there by Rueda, but you know what she's capable of. She is absolutely lethal. Just a little off that instance, giving now Kazakhstan a 10 to 8 advantage, sending back uh, Narbayeva on that line. They'll go to the right side. Good dig by Narbayeva. Just couldn't control, couldn't put a handle on that as Lukomskaya earlier tried to chase it down. Beautifully done there. Play's been called. They go to Frias for the service. Dumps it over and scores a new specialty of the house for Beresneva. Beresneva coming into this game has uh, had a total of eight points prior to today, but she's racked up a lot of them in this battle. Let's see how this will play out. Block right there, ball still alive. They go again, another block, that's over safely. Good rally, good rally. Itleva, oh no. A miscalculated bump right there. Error by Kazakhstan, but what a play by Peru. Leva just one after the other. A lot of heat there. Jousting it over. Errors on the part of Kazakhstan. Gives Peru life as they now tie it at 11. Back set, uses the net. Oh, can't get it over. Couldn't put a handle on that eight either. Echeskas earlier on that floor. Asperes Neva on the line for service to extend this lead. Munoz sets it, and she goes for a quick to Icheska is able to put it away nicely. <laughs> 53 attack points for Peru so far in this game. Good service earlier by Rueda. Here's the attack. <laughs> Kazakhstan couldn't put a handle by that battle from Icheska's score another attack point right there for Icheska's great cut shot away from the defense. 
And that's a quick timeout by Kazakhstan. They don't want to let this slip away. Sometimes it's just a matter of really trying to break the momentum and the rhythm of the opponent. As you take a look at Peru with the momentum on their side, a timeout called from Kazakhstan. Let's see if they're able to ice the game off Peru, which, been, which has been scorching here in the latter part on the floor for Kazakhstan. Watch out for Schenberger. But also, she's got the eyes on the prize talking about Frias as she waits for the weather service. Good up by Kaftorina. Sends it softly over. From a back row, that attack received by the team captain of Kazakhstan. Schenberger through the seams with a kill. Irina Schenberger, the 24-year-old player from Ashtana, looking to qualify for the first time in the Olympic Games. And unfortunately, that will be costly. Peru again on top. And they have a very dangerous hitter in Leva. Here comes the heat. Leva will be bringing it. Oh, quick right there for a paintbrush attack coming from Anikonova. Great shot right there on two by Anikonova. Nova again dumps it over. Dump set won't work by the blocks, but the block will. Anarbaeva rather has been absolutely brilliant here. And Anarbaeva puts it up again. That time she got the help of Shanova. They dumped that over. Here's the set. Through the defenders, a lot of power behind the head of Frias. And Frias is in double digits in terms of attack points, probably her 12th already. As we have Echescas with that service error. And that signals now our second technical timeout. Anar Baeva doing a lot of work before this technical timeout. She's done wonderfully. She's one of the best options that you've got on the floor for Coach Vacheslav. Taking a look at number 11, Clarifet Icheska. She's got eight attack points. Angela Leva so far with 24 attack points. She paces all, all scorers on the floor today. Beresneva is the second top scorer here, scoring 18 attack points for the side of Kazakhstan. Anar Baeva has scored one, but in terms of blocking for Kazakhstan, Anar Baeva has been a force to contend with. She tries to block that. Good up there by Kaftorina earlier. The attack coming from the team captain as well. Receive right down the middle from the back. Amazing. Wonderfully done there by Leva. Oh, great.
great service from Munoz. This is the fifth point off of service for Peru so far in this game. And we are here in a crucial stretch. Kazakhstan in a position where they need to win this, but Peru, if they get this set, that's another victory for them, Anarbaeva. Making it tough for this squad. This middle blocker that stands at 192 can actually reach a peak of 305 centimeters in terms of spikes. She's on that service line. The ball just died in the middle. Great job. Defenders will have to do work against the lethal hitters of Peru. Oh no, the team captain with an error. Took that a little too easy. Peru up ahead. Frias with this opportunity to serve. The best outside spiker and best receiver in 2015 under 20 Latina Women's Junior Volleyball Cup. Continue on with the action. They set this up for Beresneva. And she is denied again. Scoring off of her attack. Look at what Rueda did. Great job by Rueda. We talked about how she played for seven different volleyball clubs in six different countries. She played in Peru, Spain, Portugal, Trinidad and Tobago, and Azerbaijan. That time, though, the other vets from Kazakhstan got the better of them. Uribe being picked up after that error on the side of Peru. Lukomskaya. That service earlier. Peru now scoring again. Side out for them. Their 20th point in set number four. They're going to try to bring in Regalado. And Regalado is such a efficient server. Peru has won five points in terms of service. Regalado owns one. Munoz has one. Leva has one. Here's Regalado on the line. 18 year old player has played in six different world championships and they're going to let that sail out. Nothing that they can do to read what Beres Neva had in mind for that well executed with that reverse right wing hit is good. Side out Kazakhstan to equalize. Munoz chases it down. Beautifully done. She powers her way through. Leva scores a new for Peru. Rueda for service. Katarina earlier with that up. Good job by. Palacios earlier. Ah, oh, Kaftorina couldn't put a handle on that. They have to send it over. They do. Oh, but it's wide. Unfortunately, Anikonova went for that, but Kaftorina was under her. Kazakhstan will be calling for a timeout as the troops of Coach Vacheslav will need to talk things through and win the next two points. Yeah. 
Peru's dreams is kept alive and it's absolutely alive with an opportunity to put Kazakhstan away, needing three more points to win this match. They have long been waiting to return to the Olympic Games. They finally won over the Dominican Republic in their second outing after a very rough start against Japan, but Rueda feeling bad about that service error, putting Kazakhstan to only within two. Carla Rueda usually has the steady hand, and she does. Here's the service by Anikonova. Rueda receiving it. They go to number 12, that powers through by Leva. Oh, good decision making. They have to send this over to Rueda with a control. They're going to go for a quick right down the middle for Anarbaeva. That time, Anarbaeva will not be denied. Even if Icheskas, one of the best blockers so far in this tournament, was right in front of her. The score is 22 to 21, still in favor of Peru. And they're going to be calling for a quick timeout to make sure that they have their engines running well. Peru has showed their fighting qualities inspired by the likes of Leva, Frias, Rueda in their previous game. In this game, it is no different. They need to hang on against a very tough squad. You're looking at Rueda. Let's see how they steady they would be against Anikonova and company. Here's the set. They go for that attack on the right side coming from Icheskas. And with that offhand, Echeskas through the defense of Schenberger scores a new Peru needing only two to win this match and win in two straight assignments. Tatko, she's, or rather that was Tanova, she's been quiet, but now she made a lot of noise and an impact in that play. Crucial juncture of this place. Lanova earlier with the service, and no one was there to help the Libero. Great attack. Match point now for Peru. That was a sweet set and a finish from Frias. as uh, our electronic tablet needs to be used when you want to go for a substitution. Uribe will be coming in for Regalado. Regalado has done her job, but it's now time for the finishers. Will Kazakhstan still be able to recover and prevent a Peru Peruvian victory here in set number four? Service by Echeskas. They go for a nice cut shot. That was wide. That was wide. That was wide. But there's going to be a challenge requested. Challenge requested. You give the point to Kazakhstan. Challenge by Kazakhstan. And they're going to be reviewing this as earlier. There might have been on the floor. And that is in. And they're still through. Not yet a victory for Peru. It's going to be 24 to 22. Great challenge called right there by Coach Vacheslav. And we're kept at the edge of our seats. What a game this is. Kazakhstan needing to win this set and force it into a decisive final battle.
we're seeing Isayeva, the 26-year-old player from Club Almaty on the floor. Here comes Peru. Rueda! Uribe, rather. Uribe able to put it away, and she stands victorious with Rueda. And that was a crucial substitution. She came in for Regalado as the finisher, and she's able to do just that. A great finish. 25-19 for Kazakhstan in that opening set. 25-22 to 22 after that, and shaking off that first set loss. 25-23 to 23 again for Peru, and winning this last set, 25-23. to 23. What an impressive victory that was for Peru, who continues their Olympic dream right here. We talked about Peru, who's had a tough time against the AVC sides, and finally, after losing four of their last five World Olympic qualification matches against AVC sides, mind you, all in straight sets, including the last three, Peru finally breaks that ill record and wins against an AVC team. I hope that Kazakhstan will be keeping their heads up. There's so much volleyball that yet that still needs to be played right here as we take a look at some of the highlights of that last battle and what a great battle that was. Kazakhstan just falling short despite the heroics, the spills of this ball game. They've been all over that floor, diving for that leather, calling the plays as best as they could and even being charged. But Peru for this game right here will not be denied. Peru will continue on with now two victories out of the la of the three assignments that they've had so far. And this is the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. Peru with another victory.